And Lagos State Government has announced that no fewer than 29 deaths have been recorded across healthcare facilities from the highly contagious and deadly cholera epidemic since its outbreak two weeks ago. Commissioner for Health, Professor Akia Bayom, who stated this during a press briefing held in Keja, to give an update on the situation also disclosed uh, that uh, 579 cases have now been recorded so far across the state from both government and private hospitals across the state. Now, Bayomi, who cautioned Lagosians against uh, overcrowded places, declared that uh, the recent strain of uh, the disease is highly contagious and stressed that any contact with an infected person will lead to transmission. We did have some very severe cases that we were able to rescue. Very severe dehydration at the um, uh, infectious disease hospital because their kidneys had shut down from the severe dehydration. And at that facility, we have access to renal dialysis. So we're able to wake the kidneys back up with renal dialysis and rehydrate them. And those are the kinds of cases that we still have on admission because they were very, very severe and were able to rescue them from dying. As I said, most of the patients that did die were either brought in dead or by the time they came in, they were so severely dehydrated we could not rescue them. Which is why we reiterate that once you develop symptoms, please do not stay at home. While you're at home, use oral rehydration therapy and present yourself to the nearest facility. Ideally, a public health facility because your treatment there will be free. The commissioner said no case has been reported in schools across the state and ensured that efforts are on top gear to prevent any possible outbreak in learning institutions. Professor Bayomi old residents to support efforts of the government at stemming uh, the uh, spread by adhering to all hygiene measures. School authorities and health uh, and our teachers are being sensitized and enlightened on cholera precautions, management and reporting techniques. Schools were advised through our agencies responsible for quality assurance in all our public and private schools and institutes of higher learning to monitor students' health daily, encourage frequent hand washing and use of hand sanitizers, promote physical distancing, ensure vaccinations are up to date, promote a healthy diet, ensure school food handlers follow strict hygiene and subject to regulation and make sure that oral rehydration solutions are available in all our institutes of education and their school clinics. We also have um, a team that check regularly our toilet facilities. And we have also trained and um, enlighten our teachers on the necessary step to take if they are in. Uh, a, a need for, for a student being sick or whatever, based on uh, cholera. And we also provide uh, the ORT solution in virtually all our schools. We are responsible for our own behavior and our neighbor's behavior. So if you see something that is wrong, if you see, just speak up about it. Because you're protecting your, yourself, you're protecting your children, you're protecting your family. Just let them know that this is wrong. There's an outbreak of cholera, it's coming down, we do not want to see it go up again. And we're having it honestly in a very, very good day. We are, I mean, satisfied that so far, so good. But we predicted the increase, it's coming down, we do not want it to, to, to go up. As much as I can, boy, I can say that yeah, the schools are supposed to properly use proper sanitation facilities that you have around you. Don't be a danger to yourself as your neighbors. I think that with the collaboration we have across the board, we will be able to solve this challenge.